let's discuss what is a theory a set of concepts definition relationships and assumptions that project a systematic view of a phenomenon concept means idea which idea we have we define that idea and uh, describe the relationship between idea and another things and assume, assume something regarding the idea it may consists of one or more relatively specific and concrete concepts means there are one or more than one ideas can be included in theory and propositions that purport to account for or organize some phenomenon by with the help of different ideas or concepts we can develop new phenomenon that is theory what are the components of a theory there are four components concepts definitions assumptions and phenomenon concepts what is concepts concepts are the ideas and mental images that help to describe phenomenon the concepts present in our brain and we have to uh, comes into reality in the form of phenomenon and definitions convey the general meaning of the concepts which idea we have in our brain that idea we convey in a general meaning then assumptions statements that described concepts phenomenon aspects of reality that can be consciously sensed or experienced after that what is paradigm paradigm is a thing which uh, provide the link between everything present in the model okay a model that explains the linkages of science philosophy and theory accepted and applied by the discipline applied by the profession what is the link between the science philosophy and accepted theory and why any profession applied it then what is a domain the view or perspective of the discipline the view point of the profession that is domain it contains the subjects central concepts values values and beliefs phenomena of interest and the central problem of the discipline the next is how does domain relate to nursing theory nursing has identified its domain in a paradigm that includes four linkages the link between person or client health environment and nursing after that purposes of nursing theory what are the purposes of nursing theory it guides nursing practice and generates knowledge with the help of new ideas with the help of phenomenon present in our profession we have to practice new idea and generate new knowledge for profession it helps to describe or explain nursing and enable nurses to know why they are doing something and what they are doing okay the next is types of theories there are different kind of theory grand theories there grand theory is a very complex or broad theory then middle range theory middle range theory in middle range theory some specific idea or specific phenomenon described in this descriptive theory it is the it is for beginner or we have to begin begin to develop the theory from with the help of descriptive theories first level of theory development or prescriptive theories address nursing interventions and predict their consequences we have to apply our phenomena our concepts on patient care and we wait for the consequences that is might be positive might be negative next is why on earth do we study nursing theory everyday practice and riches theory the some theories exist in our profession and when we practice that theories in our clinical area in our education and administration that time we refine that theories or that concepts both practice and theory are guided by values and beliefs theory helps to reframe our thinking about nursing or theory guides use of ideas and techniques some people influenced from the existing theory and develop the new one theory can close the gap between theory and research to envision potentialities to envision the caliber inside of the person then the study and use of 
nursing theory in nursing practice must have roots in everyday practice of nurses. If nurses use the concepts of the theory in everyday nursing care, then it might be uh, might be present, might uh, it practiced in their profession, and it is the exact use of the theory. Then, so how do nurses use theory in everyday practice? Organize patient data. What kind of data? The investigations of the patient, the daily activities of the patient, and so many things which which the patient done in our ward. That is the patient data. Understand patient data. Organize patient data. Understand patient data and analyze that data. And according to that, apply the theory and make decisions about nursing interventions. Plan patient care. Predict outcomes of care and evaluate patient outcomes then how do student nurses begin to use nursing theories if they ask two kind of questions by asking yourself two very important questions the first one is what is the nature of knowledge needed for practice of nursing which kind of knowledge or which nature of knowledge students have to practice of nursing then what does it mean to me to practice nursing? Then nursing also utilizes non-nursing theory. The theories which are not, not related to nursing profession, we can borrow from psychology, sociology and another domain that is non-nursing theories. Commonly used non-nursing theories are system theory, basic human need theory, health and wellness model, stress and adaptation, development, developmental theory, psychosocial theories, which we are going to discuss on next lectures very uh, in a descriptive way. Then next is, what is the link between nursing theory and the research process? Theory provides direction for nursing research. Relationships of components in a theory help to drive the research questions for understanding nursing. And it indicates a spiral relationship between the two, between the nursing and research. Then, current trends that influence nursing theory. Which kind of trend? Current trend, medical science demand different kind of aspects from our theories then nursing education professional nursing organizations evolving research approaches global concerns consumer demands and technologies these all kinds of things which influence the nursing theories i think you have clear with this if you feel any kind of problem kindly inform me